welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna take you through the Paco Rabanne Fame range of perfumes. Demystify that for you guys. There are four different fragrances in the range, including the new intense version, which I have here. So I'm gonna be letting you know what they all smell like and the difference between them. If you're new here, then hello, welcome. We are all about perfumes. I have hundreds of videos just like this going through whole ranges, so do check them all out. And of course I have my blog, SoakyLondon.com, that has detailed articles on all the main ranges. And there you can also get my perfumes, Empress Aphrodite, and my super concentrated Soyrex candles. And if you're a regular viewer, do make sure you're subscribed and give the video a thumbs up, that really helps me. And down below in the description box will be links to where you can get all the perfumes I talk about all around the world where they're available. Cool. So the the original Paco Rabanne Fame hasn't been out that long, but it has been an incredibly successful perfume. It comes in this robot woman bottle, which I have always found to be quite bizarre. I know that the dress, which has these like circular metal circles that Paco Rabanne used to create their fashion dresses, is sort of meant to be, it's meant to be echoing that. Well, I don't really understand why it has a robot head. And then it's like wearing cowboy boots, maybe. I find the bottle very weird, but for some reason it has been incredibly successful. People love the bottle, people love the fragrance, and I think it's been a bestseller since it came out. It only came out in 2022, and I think Christmas 23 it was and Christmas 22, probably the bestseller. So the original Fame uses an ingredient that's close to my heart. Um, the top note is mango. And if you know my fragrances, you'll know that my Aphrodite perfume, the main note is also mango. But that mango is accompanied by a combination which is very common in new releases the past sort of five years. That's a jasmine heart and a vanilla base. So this is sweet from the vanilla. And then the jasmine is a note which really helps fragrances last, have projection, and give them a feminine vibe. It also has some creamy sandalwood in the base. Sandalwood creates a kind of creamy feeling and mixes with the vanilla to keep it sweet, but to keep it slightly woody and creamy. But this is definitely a sweet floral fragrance. To me, it has a lot of similarities with other jasmine and vanilla combinations like Valentino's Volce Viva, Alien Goddess, Jimmy Choo I Want Choo, like Paco Rabanne's Olympia. Um, but it does have pretty good projection, pretty good lasting power, you can rely on it. So I can see why it has like appealed to so many people. This was then followed by a pink version called Fame Blossom, Has is the same fragrance as the original. It's the original scent. It's just in a limited edition pink bottle. So it's just a limited edition bottle. It's not a different scent. The third one to come out was Paco Rabanne Fame Parfum. Now this has a black dress on the robot. And this is essentially a stronger, more intense, slightly spicy version of the original. So all the original notes are there, the mango opening followed by that strong jasmine and the sweet vanilla sandalwood. But what they've done is they've added in some patchouli and some frankincense. And these are notes which create a slightly more oriental feel, a little bit more of a Middle Eastern or a sort of incense -y feel to the fragrance. And they do make it heavier and stronger. Frankincense also has some slightly sweet like qualities to it. So the sweetness in this one does really come through. It emphasizes the vanilla, it brings out the sugar in the mango and the patchouli helps it last and works with the jasmine to create that feminine floral fragrance. So if you're looking for something stronger than the original fame and you like original fame, then I would go for the parfum. I think it, it might be a little bit more expensive because it has those other ingredients in. And then the fourth version, and um, this is the one which has just come out is called Paco Rabanne Fame Intense and I have it right here. The bottles come in three sizes. This is the 30 ml, the smallest size. Now the 30 ml of the fragrances all have these transparent bottles. They don't have the color of the dress, the metal, and they have the same lid, but they're all transparent. So they all look the same, but this is definitely the intense version. You can tell from the packaging it says here, intense. But the larger bottle, has a shimmery golden dress, so like a glittery dress. 
So whereas the original is silver, then you've got the pink limited edition, then you've got the black dress. This is a glittery gold dress. Now this one doesn't have that um, signature mango note in, it doesn't have the jasmine either. So this is definitely a departure, it's something very different. So this doesn't have the original mango note in, in fact, it doesn't have any top notes. It does have the signature jasmine scent in it, that original jasmine and it has a lot of creamy sandalwood and some incense in here as well. I definitely get the signature jasmine scent, but, and the incense is very subtle. I wouldn't describe this as spicy or particularly oriental. What I really do get is the sandalwood. Sandalwood is a note which is uh, becoming more and more popular as like the main fragrance note. In the past, it was used more as like a base, like in the mix, not particularly noticeable, but it's becoming more and more the star of the show new releases because it creates a very creamy feel to the fragrance and it's not really woody it's not like an ebony wood or a cedar wood it doesn't really have any greenness to it instead it's like a creamy almost like a vanilla -y, um woody feel i wouldn't say it's overly intense even though it's called intense when it comes to the names of fragrances using words like intense and elixir can be a little bit confusing usually a eau de parfum has up to about 15 percent fragrance oil concentration but eau de parfum intense there aren't really any rules so for example my empress is eau de parfum intense and that is 40 percent fragrance oil concentration a mass market product like this will not have that level it's probably more to around 15 maybe it's 16 percent 17 percent something like that and the original fame will be like maybe 10 or 12 percent so it doesn't feel like super intense so even though it's called intense i'd say it has similar lasting power to the original i do think if you like the original then you'll like this because I don't find the mango note in the original that prominent I'm not really missing it in this one and I think if you like the Paco Rabanne Olympia range as well you'll like this I mean overall I do think that the original the Parfum the Intense they all have a very similar vibe they're not massively different if you like one you'll probably like all three um so I feel like these are more like for a collector perhaps you want to get the robot in different dresses because you love a, a robot shaped perfume I don't know so uh, what do I think I think it, it this is so key approved because it's got a good projection it's strong the only thing is with the Paco Rabanne fragrances particularly fame is that they're so common now you are going to smell this on other people it's not that unique I bought this from Look Fantastic you can get 21% sometimes higher off at Look Fantastic across all their products with my code LFTFSOKI. So I'll leave the links down below. Um, but I think if you know someone that likes the original fame, we've got Mother's Day coming up in March in the UK, obviously Valentine's Day too. I think this is a safe blind buy, the new intense one or the Parfum one, because they'll probably like that as well. So guys, let me know if you tried the different versions of fame, which one do you prefer? Do you find them quite similar like I do? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I do read all your comments. And as always, everything will be linked down below. But that's it guys. So thanks so much for watching as always, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.